call the unknown call for or by the year fifteen. First of all, could you just tell me some a little bit about your professional background? Like, no. Where you... <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no. Actually, actually, I, I worked for Honeywell <laughs> for um, 26 years. Um, it started off as uh, Fram Corporation. Um, they actually made Fram filters and auto light spark plugs. And probably within like mm, 10 years, Ally Signal took over. Um, they were an aerospace company, so um, I kind of became a supervisor at that point. Um, Shortly thereafter, they said, you are our manager. I kind of fit really well into the management role. I guess I was always, um, there were three uh, credit managers and one um, director, and I was always kind of the guy that was the mediator when there was a problem, so um, I think I was just, I, I guess I was a natural. I'm kind of surprised that I was. But my management style, I think it's, I think it's developed into one that's very relaxed, but I think it's always been that way because I, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I, I hope I am, but I feel like I'm a people person. I like people. I, um, I take each one individually, and, I, and I've been through thick and thin. I had a boss who wasn't as flexible as I am, and I think you learn from those experiences um, not to do those things. Um, I think that's the secret, though. You have to treat each um, uh, one of your... Um, employees individually and you know make light of things once in a while because um yeah you, know, you work as a team we all respect each other and you know if we didn't you know if someone didn't do something um i'd come down on them and break their legs <laughs> <laughs> yeah i always thought i was i was not creative because i didn't think of creativity beyond being artistic i guess mm -hmm. so um so i guess i i do have creativity according to tommy boy <laughs> no, my daughter, my daughter, and my sons have said that too. So I, I'm realizing that I do have some, and I'm just trying to um, um, develop it. It's in there. We'll get it out somehow, some way, somewhere. <laughs> P.S. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, but I'm developing my writing skills. I actually. Um, Right in the morning, I, I was writing in a journal, and I did that when my wife passed away. And then I got into just I just I just wanted to continue to write, but I kind of go on my computer and I actually type away, and I've been doing uh, short paragraphs of the life of a gentleman called Rhett, me, <laughs> and it's really based on a southern gentleman. I just have something about southern living that really um, I'm drawn to it. Life is one big improvisation. I'm an Italian. I improvise every day. I also have creativity with food. Mm. I won't go into it, but I like to create. I think that's how I started creating. I, I figured, you know, food, I could be, I could improv. I could do improvisation with food. I